Good morning, everybody. Uh, this morning, I'm just going to have a chat to you about role models because when we have certificate assembly and you know you get the certificate um, for star of the week, and the other one is for role models. I sometimes wonder whether I've actually explained what a role model is properly to you, so you know exactly what we're talking about. Um, because it is really, really important. And if we have lots of role models in school, then our school will be a fantastic place. I'm going to share a little PowerPoint with you. Let me just see. There we go. Hang on a minute. That's you. We do actually want it on shared screen. Let me see where we are. There we go. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. So. Let's have a look. Um, we're going to have a look to see what is a role model and what are the characteristics of a good role model. So this is what your teachers and me are looking for when we write those certificates. OK, we, we sit there and we have all the list of our children in front of us. And this is what we're looking for. So what is a role model? So a role model is a person whose behaviour um, or something you know that they do really well can be emulated that means copied so they can be copied by other people and especially younger ones because when you're young you look to older people um, and you look up to them and see if you can be like them copy their behaviors so a role model or sometimes known as a bit like a personal hero can come in different forms family friends teachers celebrities um, Role model characteristics, uh, there's a little saying, be the role model you needed when you were younger. So when I was younger, who did I look up to? And I have to sit there and think, who were my role models when I was growing up? We'll have a little chat about that in a bit. But some of these words on here are really important and they are um, role model words. So motivational, somebody who made you sit up and get motivated and can't wait to do something. Encouraging somebody who, you know, encouraged you to, um, to, to carry on with doing something and empowering somebody who let you do what it was you really wanted to do. Inspirational, somebody who inspires you. And it could be someone off the TV. It could be someone close to home. It could be somebody in your family or at school who inspires you to do your best and to, you know, to be somebody that you really, really want to be. And look at all these words around here. Strong, happy, respect. That word comes up everywhere. Caring, passionate, humble, support, giving. Lots and lots of very, very positive words when we're talking about the characteristics of role models. So who is your role model and why? If I asked you to sit down and think, who do you look up to in your life? Who inspires you to be the best that you can be? So for me, some people in my family inspired me. Uh, and also I had a teacher at school who was brilliant, you know. Um, she used to come in in the mornings and I used to, I couldn't wait to see what her lessons were going to be like. She inspired me, always said, do your best, do your best, you know. And I was never frightened of getting things wrong in her lessons. Uh, it was all about trying and doing your best. And, you know, as long as you did that, everything was fine. And she was always a happy person as well. So somebody that I thought, when I grow up, I want to be like her. And that's part of the reason why I went into teaching, because I wanted to be like her. She was a role model of mine. Okay, so I wonder if I asked you who your role model would be, who you would say. So we've got some famous role models here. This is Amelia Earhart, who was a pilot, and she flew across the Atlantic Ocean in 1932. Um, and that was a time when most women didn't have jobs. They just stayed at home and they cooked and they washed and they cleaned. And so she was amazing for her, you know, at that time. Uh, and she was a, an icon for feminism. So lots of other women looked up to her and thought, I can do that too. You know, I can be like her. 
She worked really hard. She saved up enough money to buy her own plane and then used that to set her first record by flying up to 14,000 feet, which at the time was amazing. So, you know, lots and lots of people really did use Amelia Earhart as a role model. You'll all have heard of Marcus Rashford, I'm sure, a famous footballer, plays for Man United, and he helped raise around 20 million pounds to feed some young children during the COVID pandemic. And he also raised the awareness. So he'd been on the news um, telling people about the problems that families were facing and shortage of money to feed the children. Uh, so he, he campaigned uh, against the government to provide children with free school meals during school holidays. And he was very successful. So not only were people looking up to him uh, because of the free school meal situation, but also he's a brilliant footballer as well. So a fantastic role model. Oh, wrong way. Albert Einstein, some of you might have heard, very famous scientist. Um, he failed his entry exam when he left high school. Uh, he just worked in an office till he was 30. And then, you know, so he, he didn't get many exams. You know, people didn't think he was very clever. He actually went on to change the field of physics forever. Okay, he was a brilliant scientist. So, you know, some people change and as they get older, they get more interested in something and find that, you know, they're brilliant at a certain area. So don't give up, don't moan and whine about things. It says, get up, stop dallying and make something of your life. Be determined and do something. So finally, how can you be a role model? How can you inspire the people around you? And actually, it's this bit here. Those three words that say everything, lead by example. Okay, here are some of the ways you can do it. You can work hard, show other people how to overcome failure, live a healthy lifestyle, stay active, get active, stay active, be creative, be passionate about things. But most importantly is this, leading by example. So when we have role models in school, our year six, when they not had much chance, unfortunately, this year, but very often in year six, we have little buddies in reception. And you would hope that the year six children lead by example. They show the little ones how to, how to behave, how to care, how to share, how to play nicely, how to look after one another. And that's what we mean by leading by example. You know, not running through school, thinking about other people, not just yourself. Okay, we have so many role models in this school. I'm really proud of, of the majority of people in this school. So let's show everybody else how we can be role models today um, and for the rest of this year by following the school rules, doing exactly what we need to be doing and let's see if we can inspire other people by the way we lead. Okay, right, thank you everybody. And I hope, uh, well, I will see you around school. I'm just making sure I stop the share, there we go. Okay, uh, I'm gonna be seeing quite a bit of you in and out this week. It's school photographs tomorrow. So please make sure that you, um, come dressed in your school uniform, your full school uniform, looking smart, please. Okay, right. I shall see you all later. Bye for now.